Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through the Hawklord scheme. However, I'll be using contrast paint as the base for this one. So over a white scar undercoat, I'm just going to start by using Luxion purple contrast paint straight from the pot. So with the first coat of Luxion Purple now dry, I'm going to do a second coat just to smoothen out the power armor. And for both of these coats, I gave approximately 20 minutes to half an hour for it to dry. So with the Luxion Purple Contrast now dry, I'm going to move on to Hex Lichen. So as you can see on the left foot, leg I should say, uh, I did do a little practice area just to make sure that I was happy with going ahead with this. So the aim here is just to begin cleaning up the power armor with the Hex Lichen. However, as you can see, I am leaving some of that Hex Lichen as I love the sort of uh, vibrant so almost sort of glowing effect that it has so I will be leaving some of that visible on the power armor and then moving on to the additional highlights. So as you can see, just diagonally on the leg there, I have left some of the Luxion purple. And I just thought it was a kind of cool way to do this power armor. So we're, in a way, it's almost sort of working backwards with the Hex Lichen. As you can see, I'm very much leaving the edge highlights uh, alone uh, for what will be the edge highlights. And just really trying to focus on the center parts of the power armor. And with the Hex Lichen now done, I'm going to move on to Jean Stiller Purple and begin edge highlighting.
And now I'm just going to add some Dead White by Vallejo to my Jean Steeler purple. So you'd be looking at approximately 50-50. And uh, any white acrylic paint will do just fine. And I highly recommend using a wet palette for this, It is as it is one of those schemes where you might need to jump back and forth between colours for correction. And as you can see there, just besides the edge highlights themselves, also just adding um, little scratches on the power armor. And as always for these final highlights, not a lot of paint on the brush at all. And then just continue with what I've just shown you here around the entirety of the power armor. So here are some photos of the completed Hawk Lords Intercessor. I hope you found this tutorial useful today. I absolutely love using the new Contrast Paints 2.0. And I definitely plan on doing a few more in the future. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful today. And I will see you in the next one.